Hi. So this is going to be a quick um, overview of the parts of the um, Smart Brailler for Sammy to use. And then I'll, I'll do a separate video for the functions. Um, we'll just do, start with the basics and we can build off of that. Um, so here we go. I will put this so that you can see the Brailler itself. All right, so this is a Brailler that has many different functions for um, just a, a nicer version of the old fashioned clanky clank one that um, Sammy has. So it's lighter, a lot lighter, not terribly light, but it's still lighter than her other one. And um, it works without power and it does work with power. So I've got the power on right now, but you can use it without, which is what I prefer doing because I don't need the audio feedback I know and I can see what I'm brailing. But so yeah, it, it, it works with or without. And um, over here on the right side, you'll see, um, I'll move this so you can see the rocker switch um, right there. This is the power on and off button. And I tell Sammy to find the higher point and push down on the high point to turn it off or on. And she sometimes will need help because her little fingers quite aren't quite there yet, but she does know how to turn it on and off. Um, she's really good at that. So that's um, for the power if you choose to use it there is on the top part here um let's see if we can get this down here okay Oops, it's hard to to be maneuvering but this is the the button on the left side all the way over to the left um okay, i'll switch it around this might help sorry i'm trying not to make this too dizzy here but um this is the the, the lock in place for your um for your paper load. So when we put the paper in, and I'll show you how to do that another time, but um, this locks it in place. And both sides you can use it for. I just always like to um, make sure I do it on this side. And this is what we call the carriage. This is a little tricky, but um, this is what moves along. So if I'm pushing or brailing, that moves along with it. Um, this is supposed to be kind of the release of the lock this blue button. So if you push it, it releases that carriage and makes it a little bit more free. Um, again, I apologize about this video. It's probably not the best quality, but um, <clears throat> yeah, that tells you when you push that blue part of your carriage down, it kind of makes it free. Um, it also acts as an erase, but we're not going to worry about that right now because Sammy's not there, but I just wanted to explain to you what the function was of it. Um, just like the other brailler, if you want it to get back to the beginning, you push that blue and you bring it back over, um, over, back, okay? Um, and that only will work if you have your paper locked. Down here um, is the braille keyboard. Um, this is cell one, two, three, four, five, six. I do have the numbers labeled down here below. Um, I did have some, some of my tactile stickers came off, but I do have braille numbers and some of these, um, the one and the five are missing stickers. But I did, um, I'll see if I can find some, but I would say, all right, Sammy, find the heart. And when she found the heart, she would go up and she'd know that this is cell one. Um, this is cell one. This right here is a space bar. And it's exactly what it is, same for, for like what we use it for. You push it and it moves the um, carriage over. This, sorry, this right here is enter. And this over here is um, backspace. So it brings your carriage back. So it's just a basic overview. This is the menu um, control button right here. And I will go over that in a different video um, for you. But I just wanted to go through and talk to you about the functions of the Brailler. Um, sorry, I'm moving the camera again. <clears throat> there is also the ability, there's the a port to charge and I'll, I'll send um, the charger with you. And it does need to be charged if you use it frequently, especially if you use this the, um, the part where you have... Um, the audio feedback. Um, and again, we'll go into that a little bit more in detail um, in the next video, but hopefully this answers some of your questions. Um, yeah, so there's that.